Greetings everyone, this is Matt and we are all welcome to this Matt View. Today I will be teaching everyone on how you can build your own project on the PRM Smart Chain. The PRM Smart Chain testnet is currently live and there have been a lot of transactions on the testnet so far. So today's video I will take us through how you can develop your own project on the testnet which you can also do the same by the time the mainnet is live. As we all know, the PRM smart chain has the same similarities features with the Binance smart chain, the Ethereum, and so on. So, whatever I will be teaching you today, you can also implement the same thing on the Binance smart chain or on the Ethereum. And also, if you need video on how to create your own token on Ethereum or how to create a token on Binance smart chain, please leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know if you need this video so that i can make this for us so in this video we will be dealing with the prm scan and this is the prm scan test net and as we can see it has total of 273 transactions and a wallet address of 64. already i've built a token on this prm chain which is really really fast and it has very low transaction fee that means very low gas fee compared to the likes of binance and ethereum so if you go on this i want to show you this token i've built a smart token which is called the smt on this prm scan and i'm going to show this to everyone and also show everyone my wallet before we move further to how you can actually build your own on this chain so why we are waiting for my network to load okay so this is it this is the token i built on the prm smart chain you can see it has a total supply of 10 million smt and i am the only current holders if you want to check more features on this you can just click on this and you are going to see more features on the token so this is the token this is the contract address this is the token which is 1 million 10 million smt i am the only one holding this token so if you also need my smt token which is for is this is the test token so if you need it also you can also drop a comment on the comment section and i am going to send it across to you so i'm going to open my metamask also so that you can see the smt token this is my test prm we should be using for transaction fee and everyone will also see how many prm that has been deducted for this so this is it this is the smt token which is the 10 million you can see i own all of this so one thing i also needed to note is whatever you are doing on the test net is you can do similar thing on the mainnet because this is the same thing as the mainnet so this this information i'm going to be passing to everyone right now on the mainnet also you can also do the same you can use this method to create your own token and also i'll be making more video on it also so before we proceed to create our own token there is one thing we need to know you need to have your metamask and to have your metamask you can go onto this and search for metamask extension on your chrome browser metamask extension for window once you search for this you can click on the first one and download this metamask extension for your chrome browser so after downloading after installing the metamask extension for your chrome you have your metamask like this you can install your metamask then connect after installing your metamask the, the next thing you need to do is to connect it to the prm chain to do that you simply need to go to for this testnet you just need to go to this website of testnet explorer prm scan.org then you can come below this you can see where it says add prm testnet network once you click on this add prm testnet network it's going to load your metamask and it will automatically add your add the testnet prm into your metamask so for you to now get the test prm you need to visit the prm factor i'm going to share the link in the description below where you can get access to one prm So to get the test PRM, you just need to go to this site, which is the farcode.prmscan.org, then you click on enter. 
so after that it's going to load you to where you can put your address in order for you to receive the text prn so to do that you just need to go to your metamask then you have to copy the address on your metamask then you have to put the address paste the address here this is my metamask so you can see my prn balance is 4.9 so i'll just come here and paste my address then request for prn so that you can see transaction has been successful so if i check my metamask right now i will see that i have additional one more prm which is now this is my which is 5.9 so you can make a request every one minute so if i should go and make another request now it's going to show me that i have exceeded i have exceeded the rate limit i have to wait for one minute to elapse before i can make another request so you can make this request every one minute so after having your test coin your test coin the next thing you need to do is to go to your red means because red means is where we will be doing is where we will be doing this um is where we'll be building the token so this is where we'll be building the token which is remy.ethereum.org so this is where we are going to be building our token so like we all know the prm smart chain is also an evm so for this we are going to be using this red means which is the same it is this is the same tools we use to build um a um the ethereum life smart contract it is the same thing we use to do the coding for binance smart chain which is the same thing we'll be using to do coding for the prm smart chain so after coming here what you need to do is to first um the next thing you need to do is to come to this place which is create new file then you have to name the file you want to create so let's say um you have to name the file you want to create so let's say you want to create like um let me see create new file you can name the file um what should we name the coin let's say fortune okay for some fortune dots so okay so this is our file the new file fortune dot so so the 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 coin will be the coin will be creating today we are going to name this like fortune token so we can call it fortune token so this is what we will be creating today so for this the next thing we need to do is our code so i have a code that i have written already so i'm going to be using that and i'm also going to be sharing if you need this is the code i use for the smt so i'm going to copy this code again and i'm also going to use this code for this fortune smart contract but i'm going to show you everything um if you want me to make a video and teach you on how you can write your own code and how you can do everything you can also leave that let me know in the comment section below and also please and please and please if you are enjoying this content so far kindly give some thumbs up share this video and also subscribe to this channel because that is the only thing i request for everyone subscribe to this channel help this channel grow that will encourage me to drop more and more educative video on how you can do a lot of things in the crypto world so this is it on the fortune page i'm only going i'll just paste this code i'll just paste this code on this my fortune does so and the only thing i have to do in this code is i'm going to change some few things which you can also do this code also i'll make it available for everyone if you want me if you need this code for you to create your own you can also use this code to create your own token likes to create your own token on the prm text net and also if you also wanted me to drop this code for you kindly put it on the comment section below but before you do that ensure you you subscribe to this channel ensure you follow 
my twitter page and sure you follow my instagram and after that you can hit me up on the instagram and i'm going to share you this code so you can use this code to build your own smart contract you can even use this code on the binance smart chain you can use this code on the ethereum smart chain you can use this code to build your own token and yes you can build your own token you can market it i'm also going to make a video on how you can list your token if you are on Prima chain now you can list it on the Prima swap if you are building on binance smart chain how you can list it on pancake swap if you are building on on ethereum how you can list it on uniswap so if you need all this just put it in the comment section below then i'm going to make that video available for us so what we need to do in this code is once you have this code the what you need to do is to change the name change the name of the code the, the the name of your token so you can put the name of your token so for my sake the name of this token will be called fortune so i'm going to change this to fortune so the name of come fortune and the symbol will be f out t let's use f out t okay so the decimal let us use Mm, yeah we can leave the decimal as nine decimal and the supply remains 10 million now this supply is 10 million by um in nine decimal so once you are putting your total supply after you put in the exact number of your total supply if you are using nine decimal then you are going to add nine zero after your total supply if my total supply is one million then i type one million then i will add nine zero if my decimal is 18 then i will add 18 zero after it if my decimal is six then i'll add six zero after i believe that is clear so after changing all this that is all you need to do that is all you need to do you don't need to change you don't need to do anything the all the codes are just there for you to run so that is all you need to do so if you need this code also put it in the comment section below i'll make it available for you so the next thing you need to do after this is to deploy this token so for you to do that you can you come here after coming here you have to check the compiler the compiler the compiler you have to make sure that this solidity program which is 0.8.2 you have to come here and search for 0.8.2 this is 0.8.2 so you click on this after clicking on this 0.8.2 you can confer you just compile the fortune tone after compiling it then that is all the next thing you need to do is to come here and deploy it so here under environment under environment you have to change this to web tv yeah injected provider metamask because we are using metamask you have to change this to injected provider metamask so after changing that your address will appear here which is automatically show you your balance so you can see this is it this is my address and this is the balance i have in my address so after that you have to ensure you change this to token fortune yeah this is already set so the next thing we need to do is to click on deploy so it's going to load us to approve a transaction now just check the gas fee look at the gas fee you are paying to deploy a token so for you to create your own token you are paying less way 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 less than <laughs> this is way 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 less than 10 cents less than one cent very very less very very less so you pay this and you wait for transaction to confirm and damn beam that is it that is it our contract has already been created so the next thing we need to do right now is to come here and open our metamask so after this you need to copy this your address here after copying your address then come down here come down here under this token you just created and you are going to okay you will see an arrow here click on this arrow here so after clicking on this arrow here you are going to move this down you move this down then you come down to under transfer click on this arrow under transfer paste the address you copy your wallet address paste it here 
after pasting your wallet address there now input a value you can input any value so this i'm going to input one and i'll click on transact then clicking on transact i'm going to approve the transaction transact so you wait for it to load approve the transaction and click on confirm after clicking on confirmed you wait for the final confirmation yeah and that is all that is all so now what we need to do is just to go on the prm testnet blockchain and check for our new token which we just created so let's go to the token go under all p all tokens and see our token if our token is yeah and as you can see our token is already on the prm smart chain blockchain that is the test plane so this is it so this is the same way you can also create your token on the mainnet once the mainnet is live you can create your token you can i'll also take you on how to list the token you can do whatever you need you can list it on any centralized exchange any any exchanges at all and also like i said this is the same way you can create your token on the binance smart chain and also on ethereum if you need me to make video on that just hit me up on the comment section below also if you have any other related or uh, any other topics you want me to discuss on put it on the comment section below also so if you click on this fortune F flt we are going to see the contract address so this contract address what you need to do is to copy this contract address you can just copy the link address or you can also click here to copy the contract address clicking here you've copied the contract address so the next thing you need to do is to come back to your metamask this is it so what we want to do right now is we want to use the contract address to bring out the token inside our metamask so that we can have so that we can have access to the token so let me close this so yeah like i said um let's come back here so you just click on your metamask after clicking on your metamask then we are going to like add the contract address to the network so you come down like this you come to import token once you click on import token you put this contract address here which you've copied already after putting the contract address automatically the symbol and the decimal will be filled so you will just click on add custom token then you put import token as you can see this is our balance which is 10 million flt so if you also need this flt token let me know in the comment section below so i'm going to share it with you so on our next video i'll be taking us on how we can verify the contract address on the prm scan testnet so on the prm smart chain how we can verify our contract address same thing with you creating any program how you can verify it on this page where you will see contract verified so i'm going to take us on that on our next video so once again don't forget to like subscribe and share this video we meet again next time bye for now